What's going on fish nerds? Welcome back. Need to do a little bit of fish finagling today. Got to move some fish around uh, because if you remember last time when we were looking at this tank, I mentioned that I wanted to add some catfish in here and uh, we're going to add some quarry cats. Also uh, going to add a red lizard catfish, uh, one of the whip tails into this tank and I think it's going to turn out really good and speaking really good. Look how good Gil's looking. Check this dude out. Such a cool fish. Look how sharp he is. But uh, we got some quarry cats. Thing is, they're in a different tank. Uh, I already have them. I've had them for a few months now, but they've been in a different tank. So I actually just need to catch them and figure out a way to uh, temp acclimate them to this tank because that tank is warmer than this one, which is going to be better for them anyway. But I got to figure out a way to float them in this tank. Uh, also, the red lizard catfish gonna be a job to catch him because he likes to hide in that tank so I'm gonna have to find him in the first place but I'm gonna go work on that and I will bring you guys back in once I've got them acclimating to this tank all right everybody's floating and uh, this is what I was talking about when I said that I was gonna have to figure out how to float these guys we got one two three four five bags because all I had was these little bags that I used to take guppies to the local fish store uh, so I was thinking if I could find a bigger bag or maybe use a big Tupperware or something but uh, just ended up using several bags for these guys but these are the quarries in question I'll just go ahead and give you guys a look now because I got a feeling as soon as I let them loose in the tank they're just gonna you know run for cover and hide on me so I'm not entirely sure what species these are um, Looking online at planetcatfish.com, they look like Corydoras delfax to me. I could be wrong on that. Uh, Sharon that gave these to me, she gave me these quarries when she gave me the 75 gallon. Uh, she thought they were something else. Somebody had told her what they were, uh, but she couldn't remember the name. And so I'm just not entirely sure what they are, but I do like them. They're, uh, pretty unique looking they got that gold on their head they got a little black that goes up on the dorsal fin got a little peppered look going on and uh, we do have a little guy over here who is an oddball that is not the same kind but the rest of these uh, the other six are all the same and right here front and center we've got ourselves a red lizard catfish now this also came from Sharon, so again, thank you Sharon very, very much. You are my favorite. Uh, I have wanted one of these ever since I knew they existed. I love this fish. He is a super cool looking fish. Uh, most of the time he kind of hides out during the daytime, comes out at night, but every now and then he does venture out during the day and he is super cool. As soon as we let them loose, I got a feeling he's going to head right down here. Uh, and find himself a good hiding spot but these guys have been in here for a few minutes so I think it's about time to let these guys loose Alright, and everyone is in, and uh, looks like instead of the uh, run and hide approach, they're taking more the uh, get down to the bottom and then stop moving, hope nothing sees you approach. So not really hiding, but they're staying very, very still. You see, that's what I'm talking about. That's a really cool looking quarry cat. I just wish I knew for sure what he is. I'm leaning towards Corridor's Delphax. Just because looking at planetcatfish.com, it looks like an identical fish. Got another one hiding back there, trying to wedge up under them rocks. And our uh, our red lizard catfish, he's actually still got some sand on his head from the other tank. It's got a sand substrate in there. Got this guy hanging out here. These are some big quarries, man. But yeah, as everybody settles in, uh, hopefully they all get along well. 
Hopefully they like their new home. I really like them in this tank. I think they look sharp. I think they're I think they're going to go well with what we've got going on in here. Some more hiding back there in the grass. Got our banjo cat hanging out over here. And I'm still really stoked about this guy, the red lizard. Super awesome. A few weeks ago this tank was empty and now we've escaped it out some. I still got some growing in to do. Got our angelfish in here. Need to get some more cardinals, but now we've added our catfish, got our quarries, and got our red lizard in here, got our banjo cat. This tank is coming along nicely. All right, guys, let me know what you think about these quarries. If you know what they are, please let me know in the comments what you think these quarries are. Also, be sure to join us again next week because I'm actually moving on from this tank. This will probably be the last time we do an update on this tank for a while. We're going to move on to some other things. I got a lot of other stuff I got to work on, a lot of other things I want to show you guys. And we're moving on to some things that are pretty cool. Next week's episode should be a really good one. So make sure you tune in. If you're not subscribed already, do that. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that you know when my next video comes out. But for now, I just got to say, thank you guys for watching. You're awesome. God bless you, fish nerds. I'll see you next time.